In this nuclear medicine article from authors at the National Cancer for Global Health and Medicine in Tokyo, Japan, the authors illustrate the use of FDG PET-CT in the diagnosis and management of a broad spectrum of rheumatic diseases. Beginning with rheumatoid arthritis and allied disorders, FDG uptake correlates with PANIS volume as seen on MR in affected patients and with clinical symptoms in affected joints, showing a typical distribution of inflammatory changes. In the overlapping entities of giant cell arteritis and polymyalgia rheumatica, usually seen in older adults, FDG PET shows similar findings to those of rheumatoid arthritis, although uptake in the ischial tuberosity, greater trochanter, and or lumbar spinous process, indicating bursitis, is characteristic of polymyalgia rheumatica. Giant cell arteritis is demonstrated as FDG uptake in the walls of medium to large arteries, such as the aorta and its major branches and extracranial branches of the carotid artery, including the temporal artery. Of note, 40 to 60% of patients with giant cell arteritis at diagnosis have polymyalgia rheumatica. Remitting seronegative symmetrical synovitis with pitting edema is a disease of elderly males with abrupt onset polyarthritis and subcutaneous pitting edema of the extremities. Marked tenosynovitis in the hand causing edema is considered a characteristic finding of this disease and can be demonstrated on PET-CT. Adult onset stills disease is a disease of young adults characterized by quotidian fevers, spiking daily, evanescent rash, and chronic polyarthritis. In addition to widespread joint involvement, hepatosplenomegaly and lymphadenopathy occur frequently. Uptake in the joints, bone marrow, spleen, and enlarged lymph nodes on PET-CT is characteristic. The spondyloarthritides include ankylosing spondylitis, which is an inflammatory arthropathy and enthesopathy affecting young adult males with a predilection for the axial skeleton. Associated with HLA-B27, patients present with low back pain and stiffness from sacroiliitis. While radiography and MR play a primary role in diagnosis, FTG uptake in the sacroiliac and spinal joints along with asymmetric large joint uptake is seen. Psoriatic arthritis is another spondyloarthritis that is seen coincident with or following a diagnosis of psoriasis. Asymmetric oligoarticular arthritis of the distal hands and feet in a row or involving a single digit is most common, followed by SI joint and spine involvement. Reactive arthritis is a sterile arthritis and enthesopathy of the distal lower extremities that follows enteric or urogenital infection, and like ankylosing spondylitis, is associated with males and HLA-B27 positivity. Inflammatory bowel disease arthritis, which is similar to ankylosing spondylitis, and SAFO syndrome, which stands for synovitis, acne, pustulosis, hyperostosis, and osteitis, which predominantly affects the anterior chest wall, are illustrated in figures 9 and 10, respectively. A series of miscellaneous systemic disorders with arthropathy are then reviewed. These include relapsing polychondritis, which is characterized by inflammation of cartilaginous and proteoglycan-rich structures, such as the auricular cartilage, joints, skin and cardiovascular and laryngotracheal structures. Multicentric reticulohistiocytosis presents as polyarthralgia with papillonodular skin lesions in males. Symmetric FDG uptake in joints, especially in the DIPs, is in distinction to rheumatoid arthritis, which tends to involve the metacarpophalangeal joints. Arthropathy associated with amyloidosis can be recognized on CT and PET-CT by the shoulder pad sign. Sarcoid arthropathy in its chronic form occurs in the context of extrapulmonary manifestations of sarcoidosis, particularly skin involvement. 
typical mediastinal and hilar nodal involvement with joint, bone, and muscular uptake of FDG is seen. Finally, hemophilia arthropathy secondary to repeated joint bleeding frequently affects the knees, elbows, ankles, hips, and shoulders asymmetrically.